The power of Latinos lies so much in their numbers as in their values. We're hardworking, we're aspirational, we're professional, we care about families and friends, and those values are the way we lead. And we need to make sure that companies understand who we are so that they can manage us better, so that they can promote us better. And I wanted to, to really blend in. And my mother and my parents said, you know, Maria, you may not know it now, but culture and language are a gift. There is no one flavor of being Latino or Latina. We are beautifully intersectional. It's the intrinsic values of what we bring to the table. The, the, the family, the, the, the camaraderie, the, the opportunity for us to work together and to include others. I think we're going into a very important era for our new generations. I think it's much easier uh, to be empathetic, to understand, to have insights, to know how people will react. If you have a team or agencies or people how, who not just understand the target, or, or that community, but are part of that community. And we need to be more engaged as companies cross industry. What's beautiful is that, you know, ad agencies are involved so that students could get the agency experience. We've got corporations involved so they could get the client side of the experience. We all know what it takes. And gone are the days when brands can differentiate between their political social justice views and their consumer facing uh, uh, marketing agendas. We need to promote and support an ownership mentality in our community. Ownership of our businesses, ownership of our capital, ownership of our corporate development pathway, and really truly support each other in those factors. We need to have control of our own stories, our own companies, our own leadership. We are invisible and this is a crisis. As Latin talent, what can we do to have a seat on the table as well? And I believe there are three areas that I would like to highlight. One is self-awareness. And what is our personal branding? Recognize that we do have amazing skills. We're hard, hard workers. Our experience have made us resilient in many of our markets. We have learned to be resourceful. I'm speaking to all the junior people that are watching or listening. Raise your hand. If you are the only person in the room, raise your hand. Build a case study for a project that can demonstrate and, and unlock opportunity to tell more stories that also drive the bottom or top line of a business. Try to have relationships more than a network and then let those relationships create your network. So as you reach out to us, I think that those relationships don't only have to be with the people that are speaking in the panel, but it's more important to have relationship around the 962 people that are listening and to create that unity. And when I think of advocacy, I think of the advocacy that we need to do internally in our organizations. You know, DNI isn't the responsibility of the DNI department. Right? It's the responsibility of all of us.